I'd see the man in the broad brimmed hat in the hallways. Well, he was ruddy. He looked ready, like he should be fishing. I'd say to myself, well, here's a couple of decent men coming to visit their mothers in the nursing home. And I'd see that old lady in the wheelchair, sitting stone still, with the fractured features and the far off gaze. Her face looked worn and ravaged by something greater than just old age. Now I see him sitting at the table across from each other. She was sobbing and clutching at his arm. And he was just sitting there. She was sobbing and clutching his arm. He was just sitting there. And we passed in the hallway. I mumbled something about our mothers. And as plain as plain could say, he said, well, that's my wife. I had a better look, and there stood a man. Nothing else left to say. Well, that's my wife, cut through like a knife. His life ain't my life, my life sure ain't his life. Well, that's my wife, cut through like a knife. His life ain't my life, my life sure ain't his life. Well, I've taken to sitting in my backyard every night before bed, staring up into the universe. And I thank the stars for what I've got. And I thank the stars for what I've had. I can hold tight the good, and I can shuck off the bad. If I ever lose sight, I recall the man in the broad brim hat. Well, I visited my mother often enough. It was pretty bad sad. But off to the side somewhere, still within reach, there was a glimmer of glad, cause she could still laugh, and I'd laugh with her. I guess we're holding on to the glad, still to be had. And I'll thank the star for what I've got, and I'll thank the stars for what I've had. I can hold tight the good, I can shuck off the bad, and if I lose sight, I recall the man.